Good Monday morning to everyone. I am Michael and I'm going to be your food tour guide today. Today, of course, is Dragon Boat Festival and in Mandarin Chinese, we call that Duan Wu Jie. So Duan Wu Jie, Kuai Le to everybody out there celebrating. Thank you so much to Si Hai Restaurant for having me back. We are going to enjoy some of their Zongzi today and some of these uh, Chinese Taiwanese style sticky rice tamales. It is definitely a very, very busy morning. Everyone looks like they are getting their zongzi ready to celebrate later tonight. But lucky for me, I've got two already here and we are going to unwrap them live. They just came out fresh out of the steamer, so we're going to check out what is inside each of these two. This one's got a little red string on it, so this looks like it might be something special. So let's check it out. <clears throat> so sometimes it's a little bit hard to tell what's inside its own, just because. As soon as you open it, it's all sticky rice. But the best part of unwrapping these, these sticky rice tamales, just like Christmas, you gotta dig inside to see what's inside. So this first one, we've definitely got some seasoned sticky rice here. And it looks like we've got some pork maybe peeking out of the side. So this one is pretty filled with pork and it's pretty um pretty apparent as soon as you take a bite the rice is really really flavorful there's lots of seasoning not only in the rice but in the pork as well and there is what I like about this one so far is that there are lean chunks of pork but there's also fatty chunks of pork so this is one of the zones that maybe everyone can can dive in and, and have because some people like lean meat some people like the fatty meat but personally I love the fatty chunks of pork because that is what makes a very very flavorful zongzi. And now I totally see why this one is wrapped with the red string and it's because there is a egg yolk right in the middle. Egg yolk in Mandarin Chinese we call this we call this dan huang and some people like this not everybody does but i would say i i'm one of the ones that super enjoys having unwrapping a zongzi and having a dan huang stuck in the middle this is kind of like a cool prize to have when you're eating zongzi for duan wu jie so i'm going to continue eating this and having our egg yolk too but I would say if you are not an egg fan or an egg yolk or a salted egg yolk fan I'm thinking that this might be the zongzi for you this one is just wrapped in regular white twine and Unwrapping it now. Ooh, it's still hot from the steamer. Oh my gosh. But the best food is hot food for sure, right? Especially for sticky rice wraps like this. Ooh. All right, so we're gonna unwrap this now. This is a really, really beautiful 
种子 ，this is in a perfect pyramid， and some people call it a te tetrahedron shape， and this to me is the style or the shape。Of zongzi when it's wrapped by people from Taiwan, it's a very、um, clear indication to me, even from the outside without seeing what's inside, that the people who made it were from Taiwan. And、um, I want to see what's inside this one. And、uh, I'm guessing there's no yolk in. Ooh, it's hot. I gotta be careful. This was one of the ones that I ate when I was studying abroad in Shanghai. Just literally. Unwrapped like this, and just took a giant big bite out of it. Some people will use their chopsticks, and some people literally will take a bite of their zongzi straight up like this. <clears throat> and I would say, when you open it up, you can definitely see that it is full. It's not just rice inside. There's lots of pork. There might even be a little bit of ground pork in here as well. Sometimes in Mandarin Chinese, we will call this a roll zao, and it adds just that little extra flavor and seasoning into the rice.、Um, I definitely see some mushrooms in here. These look like shiitakes, and I would say, before I completely ruin this zongzi, just by like. Eyesight examination. There is no shami inside this zongzi, which is great because I am not a fan of dry shrimp. Some people are, and I would say if you don't like dry shrimp, this is this is a really good zongzi for you. But this this is fantastic because sometimes zongzi has a lot of rice in it and not too much filling, but both of these zongzi have plenty of things inside. This is. Um, a really great treat to note that this is—they're not skimping on anything in here. Do I see the steam that's coming out of the zongzi? This is wonderful and hot. Sometimes at home you just put like one or two pieces if you're hand making the zongzi because it's this is not easy to wrap. I mean these are all handmade. There's no way you can do a machine machine prep zongzi. So to be able to hold this, the bamboo leaves and then sticks raw sticky rice inside with all of these chunks of pork, this is really really fantastic. But like I said, lean bits of pork. Fatty bits of pork. This is definitely one of the places to come to get your zongzi for Duanwu Jie. And this morning it has been busy, busy, busy. People in, people out. And now I am gonna continue enjoying my two zongzi here. They also have a vegetarian su zongzi, which is full of peanuts, which I love. Because it's so busy right now, they're all sold out. So you might have to come back a little bit later, or make sure you pre-order your zongzi for your Dragon Boat Festival next year. But happy Dragon Boat Festival, Duan Wu Jie, Kuai Le to everybody out there. Eat lots of sticky rice and enjoy the rest of your day and the rest of the week. You should buy a whole different one.